Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, n minus 7 equals the square root of 3n minus 21. Okay? Well, first thing I need to do is I need to square both sides to eliminate that radical. So I'm going to square both sides here, leaving me with well, on the right side, 3n minus 21. But on the left side, if we needed, we'll do that step here. Uh, n minus 7 squared is really just n minus 7 times n minus 7, if you can see that. Okay. Now, when I distribute that out, that becomes n squared minus 14n plus a 49 equals 3n minus 21. Okay. n times n is n squared. n times negative 7 is a negative 7. Negative 7 times n is negative 7. Added together gets you the negative 14n. And negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Let's bring these over here. Subtract the 3n to both sides. So it's like term. Add a 21 to both sides. Leaving me with n squared minus 17n plus 70 equals 0. Now I need to think what two numbers multiply to be 70 but add to be negative 17. Should be pretty simple, right? Can you think about it while I'm writing here? Take your time, pause, see if you can do it. Okay? Uh, I'm thinking a negative 10 and a negative 7. Right? Negative 10 times negative 7 is a positive 70. Negative 10 plus negative 7 is a negative 17. So now our two solutions here, when we set both of them equal to 0, is 10 and 7. Okay? So let's go check these two. Let's check. So x equals, let's do the first one. 10 here. So rewrite my first equation. Uh, n minus 7 equals square root of 3n minus 21. Okay. Let's plug 10 in for n. So 10 minus 7 equals 3 times 10 minus 21. Well, 10 minus 7 is 3. 3 times 10 is 30 minus 21. 30 minus 21 is 9. Bring down the 3. Square root of 9 is just 3. And this is great. The left and right hand side are equal. 10 is a real solution. It's not extraneous. But let's try the other one. We have x equals 7 is the other one we need to check. n minus 7 equals the square root of 3n minus 21. From there, I'm going to plug 7 in for my n value. So 7 minus 7 equals the square root of 3 times 7 minus 21. 7 minus 7 is 0. 3 times 7 is 21. And we bring in the minus 21. 21 minus 21 is 0. And the square root of 0 is just 0. So in this case, my left and right hand side are also both equal to each other, making 10 and 7 both real answers, right? Uh, there's no extraneous solution. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to write at least the greatest, 7 and 10. It's a little nicer and neater. So our two answers here are n equals 7 and n equals 10. So let's recap. We were given n minus 7 equals the square root of 3n minus 21. I squared both sides and brought everything over to the left-hand side, leaving me, with, leaving me with n squared minus 17n plus 70 equals 0. Factored that out and got n minus 10 times n minus 7, and uh, that was equal to 0. Solved each one individually equal to 0, giving me n equals 10 and 7. Check first uh, here, 10 for extra, uh, x equals 10. x, what am I doing with these x's? I can't believe I made that mistake. Hopefully, if you uh, see any more mistakes, put it in the comment section below up here. I always do that. It's n, not x. We're dealing with n here. Stick with the same variable. n equals 10. Plug 10 in for n, brought it back down, simplified, simplified, and got 3 equals 3. Fantastic. True statement, making 10 a real solution, not extraneous. Did the same thing with n equals 7, not x. 7 goes in for n. Simplified, 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 got 0 equals 0. Well, they are still equal, right? 0 does equal 0. That's a true statement, making 7 a real solution as well. So when I wrote it out here, none were extraneous. I had both my uh, solutions I did here when I solved, okay? I wrote from least to greatest. My two solutions are n equals 7 and n equals